Hey, welcome on back, folks. You're checking out the LaFontaine Classic Car YouTube. Mackenzie over here gonna be giving you the grand tour today on our latest arrival. This is a 65 GTO, finished in the original colors. It's out of a long-term ownership, and it's got a four-speed. We love the 65 for these dual stacked headlamps. This car shows very well. While this restoration uh, was completed in the 90s, still looks really damn good definitely been taken care of headlight buckets lenses look sharp we got some t3 glass headlamps in there which is awesome grills are in good shape the brow of this hood look at that no chips cracks nothing look sharp this is a two-part release the one down here and then another one just right here now this one's been upgraded a little bit over stock. This was born a 389 four barrel four speed car. It has taken a 400 out of a 67 GTO and it's been placed right in here. And it's got an Edelbrock four barrel up underneath there. We have some aftermarket long tube headers. Um, this one is assisted with power steering. Really nice chrome factory air cleaner and valve covers. Good looking radiator, hoses, clamps. Has an upgraded fan shroud on here and aluminum seven blade fan. Sweet. Newer battery from 2024. Underside of the hood looks good. And this one actually has a functional hood scoop, which I really like. And the hood closes up wonderfully too. Now I'll take you guys for a trip down the driver's side of the car. That headlight bucket fits up against the fender nice. The wheel arch molding looks great. Our Coker Classic Red Lines look so good on these beautiful 15 inch wheels. Got that GTO badge on the side. A Little bit of a rash on the door edge there. Could easily be touched up though. Nice door gaps. Chrome on the handle looks good. Bright work back here looks nice. And in case you were wondering, these Coker Classics they are a 225.75, and they're actually on a 14-inch wheel. Out back, have a really, really cool tail panel with the headlights just flush right in. You almost don't know they're there. This car looks killer at night, a detail I've always loved. Dual exhaust looking good with a little bit of attitude coming out either side. Fuel fill right down here. There, looks like we got a new fuel door. Simple back here. Got all the sound editing on the inner quarters. Wheel tubs look good. That's factory seam sealer if I've ever seen it from the wheel tub floor pan combination. Underside of the deck lid. Check that out. Part numbers on this stuff still. Gotta love that. Ooh-wee, and it closes up good too. Down the passenger side, I think they've done a really good job getting this car straight. There's no waves in here. Paint has a really nice finish on it. Now it does have a couple bumps and bruises or authentic wear and tear. This paint was done almost oh, a little over 30 years ago. So we have two scratches over here, a little bump on the door there, and thank goodness this car looks just as sexy wet. All right, doors open up like gravy, very smooth. Beautiful door cards, nice armrest. I like the chrome door release and window crank. As we look in the interior, we have a gorgeous set of seat covers in here. I love a bucket non-council four-speed car like this is. We've got a, an updated GM steering wheel in here. It's from a couple years prior. Speedo is up to 120 miles per hour with a checkered flag right there. Have a tech one over with a 8,000 RPM red line. We've got a clock, we've got our heater controls. We have an AM and FM radio. That is the original Delco unit. And below this, since this thing doesn't have any of these gauges they added them thank goodness these are things we want to know amp meter coolant temp and oil pressure her shifter with the white cue ball on here this looks great real simple plain jane glove box nice and neat and the dash pad does show somewhere we have a light crack here we have some more over here nice carpet kit Look at these Pontiac floor mats. These things are awesome. Three pedals, of course, because it's a four speed. Headliner up here, looking good. Look at these mirrors. Or sorry, look at these visors. These things look nice. Good looking mirror. Out back, we got a little bit of sag going on up around the sail panel region. Uh, package tray looks pretty good overall. The top of the seats, not torn up or beat up from the sun. The seat cushions look great. Um, ashtrays for either of our passengers and these rear windows. These quarter windows can crank down for you too. All right, just pulling out of the shop here, watching these gauges moving, starting to warm up. And meter look good. Coolant temps coming up, oil pressure's right on. Clutch and shifter here, very happy relationship. Uh, this car operates just as you would suspect. It's pretty smooth too. 
beautiful note screaming out of our tailpipe. We've got a stoplight up ahead. Let's try out these brakes. Ah, I love it. Not pulling the steering wheel in any direction. And the synchronized transmission feels good. Goes back down through the gears with ease. Lower motor working good on all the speeds. We definitely do not need any extra heat today, but I'm glad that is working well. Man, what just a four barrel and some headers can do to a 400. This is nice. Very peppy this car is. This car is a riot. Really tight, really smooth, drives incredibly. A couple minor cosmetics we could do to take it up a notch. Call us up if you want to know anything more about it. This just hit. We just finished doing our thing with it, and if you want to know anything more, it's 248-714-2110, or drop us an email. That's uh, inquiry at lafontaineclassiccars.com. All that good info will be in the description of this video. Also in the description is the link to view the full listing on our website. That's the 100 plus picture photo gallery. The underbodies, you want to see stampins, call me, text me, email me. We'll get it over to you. I appreciate you for watching, and like and subscribe if you want to know more. Our new arrivals hit YouTube first. A lot of people have been sniping deals off of YouTube. They call them up. Half the people here don't even know we listed it yet. But it's on YouTube, soon to be on the website. Subscribe if you want to be, be tuned in the loop. We get like 30 cars a month. Maybe more. We'll see you guys.